uh, hello guys uh, i'm making this video uh, to help you on converting this table uh, into the word document in a proper apa way now let's start off uh, now this this is the output table uh, for module 2 so uh, it, this is something that uh, you have seen before so moving on the first thing you can do here is you can double click on the table now this is an edit view where you can edit the table and the first thing is we want the mean after and then standard deviation variance followed by minimum and maximum so this is not in order so we can bring that in order just by doing selecting the whole column and just dragging it where we want it now here i would like to highlight a point that this specific thing that i just did uh, i did not knew how to do, do it this was shown to me by one of your classmates so the thing here is the more you dig into spss and the more you dig into microsoft word you'll get to learn new things so it, it all uh, depends on each person that how much time he want to give to the software so moving forward as you can see this valid n7 valid and list wise these column rows they are unnecessary so you can remove the unnecessary stuff as well just by selecting it and just cut just by selecting it and cut so it's pretty simple And let me highlight the fact that this is SPSS version 25 in version 22 when you double click uh, let me when you double click the files a new window will open where you can do the things that I am doing so here sort of I sort of a bit uh, did this now here another point here I want to specify this this specific column is it, it's unnecessary because in the table we will we normally write that descriptive statistics for the final stats percentage or whatever so this thing is unnecessary for each column so you can sort of remove this as well a better way of removing this is again uh, in SPSS version 22 you will have the separate uh, window but you have that pivoting tray option if you go to the pivoting tray option here you can say this is statistics all the means and deviation it's in the columns sorry in the rows then you have student classification first variable then you have gender then you, this is gender and then you have this specific final stats score as well so you can just drag it here sort of you i dragged it uh, to this specific section and you can drag each of these variables here and there and it will just change the look of the table so this is something i did so that my table becomes more proper and more relevant information is on the table so this thing normally takes less than a minute when you get used to it so i just copy the table now i'm going to the word file now i have a predefined text written here i press enter then i press enter now this is the proper spacing and i just paste to the table now the thing i want to highlight here is when most of you uh, copy pasted your table the table was sometimes like in here sometimes beyond this area because you did not edit edited the table in the spss output regardless if you have a big table and you're not sure if your table is beyond the margins you can always go to the view page click on grid grid lines now here you can see here it's within the margin here i have a space so i can drag the table as well I drag the table here like this then you can also play around variables as well if your value is between 0 0.1 and 10 then you need to have one decimal place sorry two decimal places values between 10 and 100 you need to have two decimal places of course you need to round it off as well and values greater than 100 uh, you can round it off to the nearest 100 so this is a relaxation that you have and always uh, this also you know sort of helps you reducing the space occupied by the numbers in the table
So this is something that does not take that much of a time as you can see. You can change the numbers in SPSS as well, but I would not recommend changing it in SPSS because it's it's a much a difficult way of changing in SPSS. Let me show you here. Yeah. So just close this one. If you click on the number here, yeah. if you press eight, it will become eight. So you have to individually go to the each option, then you have to change it. And eventually if uh, you sort of do 7.11 something like that so what SPSS does it will pop put zero in front of it see this thing so it's not recommended to do that in SPSS so going back to the word file so this is your table the first thing I would recommend everyone to do and which I forgot myself as well before doing anything with the table before doing anything at all just change the font size to times new roman 12 because if i added the table and then i change the font size the table will uh, look weird like you can see here well i'm lucky the table is within the margins but sometimes it sort of goes beyond the margins with, when the font size increases here you can just play around a bit student classification make it proper now that's the proper apa table now you can just go here border playing is pretty simple no borders bottom border top border then you can go here as well and have a bottom border go back to view and remove the grid line because i uh, i do not want to see it any longer so this is your table uh i just wanted to be sure that the yeah, it's one and a half the tape the border which should be one and a half and it's always by default one and a half so that's the that's my table another thing you need to do is the all the data area you need to center it and the left most data should be left aligned it's already left aligned so here's the thing i can write table one here that's my table one yes always you, you can edit it unbold it and that's the title which should be italicized and here just to have the proper spacing go to two spacing that's it and here you already have proper spacing here sometimes the spacing goes out all by itself but you can always play around it because here you know you have two spacing so just just check for this small cursor it shows that you have two spacing so one two three and you're writing on the fourth one so this is your aba table it should be looking something like this and that's pretty simple so you can always adjust your table in proper APA way. Now, another thing, another point is sometimes the spacing after a table is not in, is not correct. So the, the the way I do it now, there there can be more than one, one way of doing it. The way I do it, I go at the end of table, do one spacing, and then I sort of, I it's sort of something that is in my mind. One spacing on top, two spacing on top, three spacing on top. Three spacing on top means I am at the fourth spacing and here sort of I can start writing again whatever I want. Now here let's say you want to add a picture. Whenever you are thinking about picture go to, go on your options and center align the picture. Go to insert let's say let's say we add a picture. So this is a picture of Norway beautiful place. So you can always adjust the picture sort of play with the picture and all now let's see you can see that there's the cursor is right here now here what you can do is select one spacing go down control j justify and just figure one and just italicize it you can italicize before writing figure one as well it depends everyone has his own width but that's the way i'm showing you so there is no 
now here you know you have one spacing so you need to have three spaces after the picture as well so let's, let's move on the picture on the next page just to show you guys how to do that as well so here you you know you have one space so you have one space on top you have two space on top and you have three space on top and you can just start writing now you can check this as well three spacing and on the fourth space you start writing so th that's the simple thing about spacing and uh, that's pretty much it about this video and i would want to highlight the fact that uh, this class uh, uh, is pretty important with regard to the 6, 691 class the gcp because they are, they will be looking at the slightest possible error they can find and they will then deduct points on that so this class is an opportunity to learn uh, so that you can learn from these mistakes because eventually for the gcp you have to make tables you have to have figures you have to have the tests and also so this is the way you, you should do it so if you have any questions you can come by my office you can meet me as well and i think this will pretty much clear all the concerns doubts about how to have the tables in spss how to convert the tables from spss to word and then again there's always the easier way is always and i always sort of prefer this way but you know uh like students we always try to find an easy way out but this way is i would say is the best way just make a table this table will never go beyond the margins it's by default if you copy paste tables it will always go beyond margins if it need to but this table it will never go beyond the margin so you can always enter your values here as well this is all this is i would say the most proper way of doing it and for those of you who think this way is a proper way they can always do like this as well just enter your values and the same thing that like i showed with the borders no borders top border but uh, below border and then adjusting your values to center align and this these values to left align so that's all for today